Okay, guys, so. Right, let's remind ourselves what we're doing. Because I have to get back into this because it's been two weeks. So it's probably going to take me a couple of days to get back into the swing of things. Um, but if I remember correctly, in our last stream of the year, we actually actually changed the way these guys looked we we added a bit of personality to them so we're going to update them we're going to put the new assets in here let's get the folder up of what they look like now because they no longer look like that only apple looks like that now i think and all the others have new features on them and that was a really fun stream um i had a lot of fun lots of lots of laughs with the when we were making them um so let's it should be in here we go so probably won't need to resize them pop in there so that's blueberry now oh we will have to replace apple as well though because um his paintbrush and palette are different we've given them a little splodge of color on their paintbrush and change their palettes to the color that they are i feel that that's a cool that was a pretty cool decision wait how is tomato's tinder profile yes how's tomato's tinder profile it was Juice, I believe, that did that. I wonder if I wonder if we got any people that were interested. I'm actually very curious. I'd be shocked if he didn't. I mean, who who wouldn't want to go on a date with edgy edgy tomato? I did actually put a poll up on um, Twitter, Twitter, so you guys could vote for your favourite of the fruits. Um, I forgot which one was popular. We didn't get tons of votes though, because uh, surprisingly, we don't. A lot of people who who were in, very involved in the game aren't really on Twitter. Um, I say you should all get an account right now. That's what I say. Although I don't really pose much on Twitter, I want to try. But at the same time, I'm kind of wanting to take a step back from social media as well. Because it's a little bit, a little bit intense sometimes. And it's not good for, the, for, for inspiration when, when things get like that. But at the same time, I, wanna, I definitely want to post more Raindrop Chronicle related content on the twitter there we go so there they are they're so cool aren't they i love them so that's what we spent the last stream doing we added to the glasses the scar the birthday hat and all all those things and um it it will be the blueberry's birthday in the in the little cutscene we have before the boss so that will be something we'll be doing as well we will have to put a bit of a dialogue sequence together and an awesome cut scene we'll write that together i'm sure there will be a series of polls on how we the direction will take that particular cut scene and i'm really looking forward to doing that so i'm actually we'll get we'll remove this now because that's done and what i'm going to do because our trello page i can't log in at the moment because it's been a silly i'm going to write notes here instead on on what our plans for this month are going to be so uh just so we we can we can see everything and look at what we can focus on uh right so let's make the text a little bit bigger okay so that is one um I was going to put the fruits and um, the party, but I want to be a bit more specific about who's actually in the party. Um, 
and I'll put before boss battle in brackets. So that's like one thing we'll, we'll be working on this month. But obviously, another thing we've got to work on this month is finishing the actual battle. We, we made a start on that in the final week of stream and um, before balls. We we thought of all the, the skills the fruits could have. We, it was very productive, actually. We, we even named the ball. And we started testing them in battle, seeing how they work, seeing how balanced they are, and if they're too OP and things. We were sort of, not, we weren't finished with that, but we were doing quite well. We were doing quite a bit of testing. So um, I think that the first thing we have to probably focus on is getting that finished. So I'll probably put that above this, because that will be priority. We'll order, we'll order these things in priority, perhaps, we'll say. Um, we don't have to be strict about it. We can always switch between different things because um, I feel like it's it's quite, it's fun to do that sometimes too, just for variety. Um, so, boss battle mechanics. Um, but yeah, I put fruit boss battle mechanics rather than. The decaverigions, <laughs> which I still can't say, um, just simply so people know what we mean. Um, but that is that is their fancy name. That is their official name. That that'll be they're called as a group. Um, let's let's have a peek at the poll. Oh, thirty votes now. Thirty votes. Let's get let's get loads. Let's get three figures of votes before we close it. My goodness, guys. My goodness. This poll has shocked me somehow. There's a few surprises in there. Um, okay. Fruit boss battle mechanics. Phase one and two, because there's two phases to that this boss fight. We have the one that we've been working on when they're standing as a group like this. And then we got phase two when they hide behind the painting. And we we um we spent a couple of streams on what the painting had looked like visually, and that was fun. We we th we got some like monsters, uh, monster ideas for what the the pain could look like we had a winner i believe it was the the badass ladies that won the palm um they look pretty cool on the on those paintings so i'm, I'm glad they won um and we haven't really discussed that part of the fight yet um so that's going to definitely be something we'll work on as well and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to not bold the ones we haven't done yet. And I'll put in italics for what's in progress, I think. Um, should I put a key for that, maybe? There we go. Maybe we'll make it a darker grey for what we haven't started yet. Ah, uh, 
yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Um, make this text a little bit bigger. Okay, so. Let's see. There you go. Uh, oh, yeah, we don't want that bit in italic, so there we go. Um, and because we haven't started phase two yet, we'll make that dark grey. Okay, so there's definitely way more we have to do than this, so. Um, right. So I suppose it's what's coming up after that would be making it look more fancy animations and stuff sound effects in the battle system because we don't want it to be boring we don't want just simple attack no, no sound at all once the mechanics are done we definitely want to add a bit more w once we've balanced it and finished the me actual mechanic part of the battle um it'll just like really make it far more exciting having some sound effects so I'm going to say fruit boss battle um, sound animations and sound. So it'll be, it'll be really fun to think what those animations and sounds could be. Because who knows what sounds they'll make. Maybe they'll have little voices. I definitely want them to have voices, I think. But uh, we'll say. F flute squishy fruit squishy sounds as well painting sounds and some doing that's what their weapons are all sorts of things so that will be like the next job as well um and there's like a few little bits and bobs to finish like the player the player skills and um, implementation i know that say rose's drain ability um, isn't quite done yet. We have, I haven't like, I, don't, I haven't like finished the formula. It's a little bit, a little bit messy and rough around the edges. So I have to finish that. And I believe our Trello page says that. It says, do first four skills for Warrior, Hunter and Vampire. And it's still in progress um, because some of them are done. Some, like a few of the skills work, but there's a few like really tricky ones I still have to finish it and um, implementing. Um, so I'm going to say finish implementing warrior, hunter, and vampire skills. Um, and once they're implemented, we can like test the boss battle um, balancing with, with the skills. Because at the moment, we've been testing them when the players have no, absolutely no skills. Just nothing so it's a lot harder obviously to kill them when they've got no skills but i kind of want to make sure it's beatable when they've got no skills either just so it's not too impossible and challenging um so yeah we'll take we'll make sure it's beatable when they've got no skills first of all and then we will finish implementing the warrior hunter fan basket and then test it again and see how it works then but we'll probably have to like balance it a few times it's not something we're gonna finish in one go we'll we'll have to regularly test things as we we mess about like and change things like because we'll still have to do the weapons and armor and i i think that we're okay we've decided i think was it 10 it adds 10 to attack the weapon or was it adds eight to attack something like that and i think that's a good number to keep it at so we'll probably try not to change the numbers that 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 is added to the weapons um hi sick boy how you doing 
was buying a food processor. Ooh, yummy. Yummy, yummy. No problem at all, Gleason. If you guys have to do the lurking, that is, that is totally cool by me. I'm happy to ramble on because I'm a bit of a rambler. And I have fun doing that. Um, so I am Lay AG. Ooh, well, I hope you're having fun, Sibbo, and Happy New Year to you. I hope hope you've had a good Christmas as well. Let's be treating you well. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you don't mind my lucky remote many meetings at work today. So, and same to you, Richard. Guys, I, I appreciate you lurking. I, that means the world to me. And I know I know you're super busy and have stuff to do. Just feel free to to, to chat and that whenever you're able to. Whenever you want to get involved, you can get involved. Whenever you want to, guys. Um, let's peek at the poll. Let's see how it's doing. I'm going to put, put it again in chat. So peeps who haven't voted yet can. Because I'm sure there's a few of you that might have not voted yet. But we got some really, really creative names here. And I'm excited to see what one wins it at the start of tomorrow's stream. Um, okay. So at the moment, we it's our first stream back today um, of the new year. I had a two-week holiday, so I'm still needing to get back into the swing of things a bit. So we're starting off our first stream just making a list um, of everything that needs to be done, basically that we're working on at the moment. We're not thinking too far ahead yet. We're just thinking of the things that have to be done soon. Um, and once those things are done, we can like move on to some really exciting things like side quests. Because um, I originally said we were going to do side quest creation in the new year. I think I said in January. But that's probably going to have to be pushed back to next month simply because we've got so much already to work on. Um, and that's how game development goes. I, I definitely would rather have quality quality over speed anyway. So I'm totally cool with being a bit slower if it means things are going to be bloody awesome in the, in, in the long run. For sure. Don't tell me not to be sorry. I will always be sorry. <laughs> I, I say sorry a lot too, to be honest. I think I have a sorry disease. I need to stop saying it. I'm going to make that a rule, actually. I'm going to stop saying sorry. But then people might think I'm ungrateful, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. Um, okay. So there's a... What else have we got to do? Okay, so there's only one other thing that really sticks out to me. Well, a couple of things actually that stick out to me that we have to do other than this before we go back to like fall and do side quest. And that is... Carol the Barrel's uh, flashback sequence that will lit that will happen before the boss. Um, so Carol the Barrel. Flashback scene. And this includes Carol's companions, so that means we'll have to have a stream as well where we work on the Carol companion assets, which we can we can totally do soon. I feel like we should we don't have to 100 percent focus on the fruit boss battle if we wanna switch things up a bit. We could have a break and work on some Carol the Barrel flashback stuff. Um if if we need to. So, do dialogue and cutscene for Carol the Barrel. 
flashback includes Carol's companions. And we did like do a, a little bit of that. We had to stream where we discussed the flashback and what who her companions are. That was super fun. I'm really looking forward to, to fleshing out those characters as well as we have our fruit, guys. So I'm going to put... I was gonna like put January to do. How how we got it set up in twelve? Yeah, there we go. So I'm I'm kind of just doing it this way because the Trello page isn't work. Well, it is working, but I can't log in. But once I am able to log in, this will this will totally just get updated to what we're writing in here. Um, there we go. Okay. And there's another, there's actually, hang on, let's let's think of this, let's break it down, because there is another cut scene as well between Carol and Rose. Um, so. Uh, right, so it's called Main Quest 2, The Sacrifice. So that is what we we working on. Main Quest 1 um, is 100% done. Um, all the dialogue, um, the cutscene is done. If you've watched the story so far video, um, let's, let's put that up and see if it pops up. Yeah, if you watch that video and that link now, that will show you exactly what happened in that part of the story. So... Really, we're working on the next part of the story now. And once that's done, we will make another story of the sci-fi video for that. So this is what this is going to be. So I'm going to just get a another list just to get super organised. And we're going to call this one Mean Quest 2. I mean, you know, just basically write the order of how the sequence of events go in this, in this, so we just don't, so we don't get confused, basically, and we don't miss anything out. So the first thing that happens, well, Rose has joined the party at this point, and that is the last thing that's happened. Rose has joined the party, and at some point, probably in the fourth. Either the third scene of Everbloom Forest or the fourth scene of Everbloom Forest, um, there will be a, a scene that takes place um, that will, will stop the player from walking and there'll be like a little dialogue and cutscene sequence. So that all will be... Carol and Rose scene. So basically, um, just to remind you guys, Carol recognises Rose. Um, she's like linked to Carol's flashback and she knows where Carol's fam well, family companions are. And um, so there'll just be a very short dialogue exchange between the two of them where Carol's like, I know you, I know this one. So if we own a Discord main story, on the way, Carol the Barrel confesses she had seen Rose before. The hero asks for details and the flashback begins. So, Carol confesses she had seen Rose before. Put that in brackets. Um, so, we'll have that scene to work on. And then it'll be the actual flashback scene, so. 
we'll get rid of the barrel just to make things more simple. Carol flashback. That's the right order, I believe. So flashback begins and yeah. Yeah, and then there'll probably be another short scene after the flashback. So So, the next bit, let's look. When I reach a destination, I see a Yeah. So, this is the beginning of this, this particular scene here. Well, probably, I think a cool idea would be to name name these scenes So I can, when I talk about them, I can just say cutscene A, cutscene B, rather than describe the scene every time, just so it's easier to understand. Um, yeah, so this one, and so we can change this now, do dialogue and cutscene. Well, we have to do dollar cutscene A, B, and C, and D. So that'll just that'll just simplify things a little bit if we do that. So we can get rid of that now. Um, Carol's companions' names again. I forgot. Uh, are they up here? Oh, here they are. Here they are. Um, Hank, Alvira, Merrill, and Woody, and Carol's son, who we haven't named yet. So we're going to have to have a stream where we name um, him. So I'm going to actually put. Vera, bet you guys forgot about these characters. Haven't done their assets yet, but we will be. And it's all going to be kind of original assets, I guess, for these. Simply because where else are we going to find some barrels on the internet? So I, I will be doing them from scratch, somewhat of. But we'll kind of be adding some of the eyes features from the RPG Maker character generator just so it's consistent with the, the art styles consistent and stuff so, um, include, let's make this a bit bigger we go okay so includes carol's companions hank alvira merrill woody and um 
the cookie jar. He was a cookie jar, wasn't he? Unnamed. I'm going to name him soon. Maybe this week we'll have a stream where we name Carol's son and we actually do the assets. That'll be really fun. I had lots of fun doing the fruit assets when we gave them some cool, unique features. So I'm sure we'll have fun doing the barrels as well. Carol's son, Harold. Yeah, we're going to have a poll, guys, in for sure. I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm pretty sure, where is it? I'm pretty sure we had a a bit where we named the the sun where is it let's zoom out wow it's gone it's gone very this canvas has gone very big uh yeah that's unusual because i'm pretty sure we did we had um a little part here where we had name suggestions and now i'm worried because we've lost them and i would have added yours guys you know? um i'm actually gonna check something here I'm going to just pop this. Oh, hang on. I've got a notepad file here. Give me a sec, because I might have somewhere where I stored these names. Because I always, I, I try not to lose things. Oh, yay. I've got it. Here we go. I found it. So what we'll do... Here it is. Names for son. We had Errol, Snickerdoodle, Ginger Snap. Um, and we'll add we'll add the one that you said, guys. Ian. Um, Harold. Why? Right. Why is this text so small? <laughs> Why is it so small? Um. we go and thank you Kegel the, the corgi for the follow what a cool name I approve of anything that has a has a cute doggo in the name welcome to the stream hope you're having a wonderful day my snapchat is ready for the barrels I am really excited um just because we have I mean looking at our list of things to do we have we've been working on a lot of mechanic things skills all the maths and I always had I, I'm pretty open in admitting that that's my weak point. Um, I'm not very good when it comes to doing skills or implementing them. So it'll be nice to, to have a little break from all that intense maths and formula stuff to work on some assets, some barrel assets at some point. And I would really like to do that this week. Um, not Hold, that's not the name. Harold, that's it. Harold. So if you guys do have um, any name suggestions at all, I will add them to this list at any point that get mentioned. And um, when the time's right, we will do a poll with those names in. Um, yay. Okay. Let's let's have a check on how, how they're getting on. Oh, guys. Nah. I'm going to put this... Uh, I'll link and chat again for you all. Get voting, guys. I want to see those votes. Still got plenty of time for that poll left, though. Okay, so where were we? Let's move that across a bit. Yeah, we were doing uh, the order of cutscenes we're going to have for main quest too. So, the story so far, part one, which a lot of you, I'm sure, have seen on YouTube by now. That is all of main quest one, basically. Um, so, I'm going to kind of structure the story so far in, like, quest order. So, the next video will all be main quest two. The video after that will be main quest three. Video after that, four, five, six, and we'll... I think that's kind of a, a tidy way to structure it. Um, 
so I'll, I'll again put that video in chat the command for it so peeps know what I'm talking about <laughs> so yeah that's all main quest one there so this is main quest two we, we have a few cut scenes that we're working on the first one is Carol and Rose scene before the flashback where Carol confesses she has seen Rose before and I think at this point she could potentially introduce herself as Carol the Barrel because she hasn't told the hero her name yet. She's just a barrel. Um, but we could also have it so we know her name, Carol, in the flashback. And I suppose that could be a good way to do it because her, her companions might call her Carol by her name. And that will be how we know at that point that she's called Carol. Um, so we, we can always decide together what one will be, be the best way. And then we'll have another cutscene after the flashback, but it'll probably be quite short. Cutscene A won't be very long either, probably. Um, cutscene B is definitely the big one, the filling in between the sandwich. <laughs> and, and then cutscene D is, uh, you know, this is the pre-boss battle. So at this point... Let's get my notes back up oh yeah at this point this is where we meet the fruits we encounter the fruits so how have, how is this worded in the main story so um here it is when they reach a destination they see the painted easel carol demands that rose paint a picture of where sun is um, Rose obliges and paints on the canvas with her blood. The group are interrupted by the monsters of the Everbloom Forest. Okay. Um, the party meet the fruits. Okay. And that one's before the boss battle. So obviously we're not going to meet the fruits immediately. There'll be a little um, chat between Karen and Rose. Carol sees the easel and like tells Rose to paint. But then the fruits will come at some point now. Um, and they'll be, we'll make this cutscene really cool. And we'll bring in the personalities of the fruits as best as we can before the, the battle starts. Um, and um, I'll put that there so we know that very clearly that that's the boss battle at this point after cutscene D and then we'll have cutscene E and I think this will be our last one on main quest 2 and once we've done all that we can make the next story so far video um, I'm sorry, but I think Biscotti would also be a good name for that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pad that as well. Thank you very much for your creativity, guys. Could even change it to Biscotti. Yeah, should, I'll put uh, Biscotti with an I and with a Y, um, so that we've got the choice of both. Can add them both to the poll if we like. Um, Rose, if you refresh your screen on the poll, it orders it from most days. Oh, does it? That's a, that's a, that's a very good tip, Glacian. Thank you. It was quite hard to tell, actually, what was, what was the winning, but that's, that's how things are going at the moment. Oh, my gosh. Still, still, um, I wouldn't say that the first one's running away with it just yet, though. The Benedict one's very close. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We'll soon, we'll soon see you tomorrow, won't we? Um, right. So cutscene A, what will that be? Well, it'll be when uh, the fruits have been either killed 
or run away because you'll get the choice at the end of that battle if you want to save the brutes or whether you want to kill them. So cutscene will basically be that, well, after that. So I'd say, um, yeah, we don't need to put that there because we know that the boss battle comes. Um, Let's see what Zexion put in his submission. Let's remind ourselves. After the battle rose, he's able to fulfill. Okay, so I'd say that because the fruits come and interrupt the party, Rose doesn't get to do the painting in time. But she can do that after the battle. Um... And this Zexin submission will just be a sort of template. He says he's totally all right with us adjusting it to our needs when we do the dialogue scene, if we have to. Um, but it, I'll be, I'm super excited to start that, so. How should we word this? Rose paints a picture. I think that sums it up okay. Yeah, so Rose paints a picture, then they go back to Lake Fall. I think. I'm not sure whether we should add that, but that's pretty much what's gonna happen. And the only thing that can, you can really do um, once that cutscene and the boss battle is finished. Um, and I, I assume the quest destination, you, you, where you're handing the quest will be at Lakefall. Um, because Fiona Buckington will probably be back at Lakefall at that point. You won't go back to the cabin. Um, she'll be at Lakefall with her brother at that point. I'd assume things could might change, but I could I can picture that probably happening, but we'll see. Um, um, so yes, and then main quest three, once that will for somehow tie in. To when that quest is handed in we'll see how what happens we have no idea because we're sort of still improvising this um but we'll we'll get main quest two done first before we think about main quest three um and we'll and at that point um main quest three side quests will open up and things um and we'll as a community think of some really cool side quests and we'll develop the npcs of lakefall a bit more as well that'll be really fun um so let's think do dialogue and cutscenes for well that's better it's a bit more simple um do cutscene a b c and d and e i just forgot what i did as well 
And we'll probably have a little bit of a cutscene dialogue in the actual battle too. I, I think so in phase two, but we don't know yet. Um, we haven't really talked much about phase two yet, but we'll see. Um, so, there we go. Um, Oh, I think that that's it. I think, I think that that's all those things here, is it? So, cutscene stuff, obviously that includes the assets as well. That, that cutscene will totally not make sense without those assets, so that's obviously something we have to do. But for cutscenes A, C, um, D and E, we don't really need any more assets. Oh, I'm wrong. We need to do assets of the fruits on the actual on the actual field, the map. So little sprites of the fruits. We do have a some there at the moment, but I think we're gonna change them to animated ones so we can see them bounce and stuff. Because they're just static at the moment. So we will have to do the assets for those two. So maybe we'll just add that just so we remember i'm going to do i'm going to do a cough so i'm going to mute my mic oh dear me i've got the i've got the cough i'm proud i muted it in time yay okay bouncy fruits yeah because they, yeah, we, I did find some slime assets and I transformed them into the fruits. But they're a bit, I'm not very happy with those assets because they just literally don't animate at all. So we'll find some really, really cute assets that we can use as a base for our fruits and then we can add their cute features. So, and then, and then I'll, that'll really help bring the cutscene to life, actually seeing the sprites on the, the, the scene on the map. So do assets for Carol's companions and the fruits. And then yeah, the, the Carol companion assets and the fruits are the only assets we need to do for those cutscenes. The rest is literally just the characters well, they'll just stand there and talk, basically, and there'll be a few little, who knows, a few little animations that might play, but those assets are the main things that we need done. And we have the easel asset as well. We've got the painting easel asset. Um, thank you, Green, for the host. How are you doing? Welcome. Judges you for coughing into your hands and I will help my shoulder. Oops, I'm spreading the germs. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. So really, this is kind of in two parts. We've got story stuff with the fruits and cows commands, and we've got mechanics and battle stuff. So how? How do we sum up the stream? Dialogue and cutscene battle mechanics. Yeah, <laughs> basically what the Trello page says. So I haven't really missed anything. What's on the Trello page is literally what we have to do. But I've just, I've just kind of uh, made it a bit more descriptive what exactly it is we are working on. Uh, I've just expanded upon it a bit.
Right, so I guess that is what we're going to be working on this month. Whether we finish it, we don't know. If we have to go into Feb to finish it off, that, so be it. As long as it's perfect and looks cool and we're happy with it, that's the main thing. There's no time pressure, really, I'm going to put on myself. Um, but once that's all done, there'll be another Story So Far video and that'll be when, when we go back to Lakefall, we'll, we'll, we'll start to add some side quests to Everbloom Forest and like the Lakefall area. Um, and uh, that'll, that'll be super fun to implement into the game. And at that point, yeah, like really, that'll be really fun because we'll we'll have really like fleshed out the first section of the game then and once we feel we've we've done enough side quests and we can perhaps move on to the next region but we'll see because we don't know much about what main quest three is going to be yet that still might take place in the everbloom forest or it might move on to the cave area because we do have a cave um on screen for the Everbloom Forest. So at some point in the party, you're gonna go in that cave for some reason or another. And um, that means we'll do some more dungeon. We'll have a chance to do some more mapping and add more cave, cave based enemies. Ne we'll open up the next level of the skill tree. Um, and we might even have a new party member join. We'll say. I feel like we could potentially have a new party member join at that point but i need to finish the character sheets there's five character sheets to do we might have some more to do i'll have to check the forms but i i definitely want to start getting those done um before the month ends for sure okay okay bears damage yeah that'll be fun because we've the everbloom forest has been all foresty we've had all the foresty ones um all these guys and we'll have a poll we'll find some cool cave enemies and put up a poll and vote be favorite the ones that you want to see that'll be lots of fun but that'll probably be i mean who knows um the cave could kind of be mixed in with the side quests or it might be part of main quest three um but uh february time maybe we'll be able to start that um because I'm definitely going to dedicate this month to working on the cutscenes and finishing the fruit boss battle. Um, but it's quite funny because I said, oh, episode one will be, we'll release it by the spring. That's not going to happen. We'll probably, it's probably going to be later in the year now when the actual episode one gets released. Don't know when, we'll just say whenever it's, whenever there's enough content and whenever we're happy with it, basically. Um, so, yay. Okay, so... Should we, what's the time? Oh, wow. I've been rambling on for longer than I thought, but we still got time to do some stuff. I feel like um, we were doing the balancing, the phase one of the, ba the battle, the fruit battle. So we might as well finish that off. We get it, get it, be, get it as perfect as we can. Um, make sure we don't die and that the battle isn't too challenging. And then once phase one is complete and it's beatable, we can perhaps either move on to phase two or we can do the animations and sounds. Um, but yeah, basically everything that's listed here, we'll probably dip into a, a few of them each time, each stream. Um, but then we might have some streams where we work on the cutscenes if we want to break. We'll see it. We'll see how things go. We'll go with the flow. And thank you, Anne Mike, for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good January. January is meant to be a, a bad month, but it's a good month. I'm, I'm good. I've got you guys and I've got my bat. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's open RPG Maker. Because it isn't open yet. But I feel like that's a good job done. Because um, we're all organised now. We have an actual full-on list of what we need to work on. Yeah, we'll make it a bit longer. That's better. And we'll refer to this each stream. See how, we, how we're doing with things. Um, also, I should probably make these grey. 
because that means not started. Oh no, is it crashed? Oh, it kind of crashed for a little bit, but um, there we go. So really on this list, this is really all we've begun. Although we kind of, I should probably make that in progress because we did, I have started on that. So we'll change that one. There we go. There we go. And we haven't started the assets for Carol's Companions properly yet, so I won't put in progress for that yet. I'd say do phase two and animations and save sounds for last so it can be in one go. Yeah, that's a good idea because um, maybe doing getting phase two over and done with will help inspire what the animations and sounds could be. Because it, it, that's the creative bit, animation sounds. We have to think together what will be some cool ones to have. And maybe that, that could be hard to do without actually completing the, all the phases. But I agree, doing it all in one go is definitely a sensible route. Um, Trello is having issues this morning. I can't get my Trello boards at all. Hi, welcome to stream. And yeah, I've been having issues logging in. It's... Um, I spent like half an hour trying to log into Trello today, so I've sent them a support email. So currently I can't uh, do anything or update anything, but we, we've got this and uh, we've got, we're doing this instead for now. Um, but I kind of like seeing it like this actually, all, all on one screen. Trello is nice though, because it's, I really like how that website's organised. It looks very pretty as well with the labels. I like how your sprite was standing in front of Rex's and it looked like you had wings, did it? Oh, I want wings. <laughs> I can see the Trello. Yeah, but that's that's funny how how um Vish couldn't is that, isn't getting boards and I can't log in. I logged in on Google. Yeah. I'm glad that you can see it. I just hope I can log in soon. <laughs> the door will be locked out forever. Boo. Oh, let's let's have a look at our poll. Let's see how things are getting on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure everybody gets a vote. So once again, I'm gonna spam the poll link. Okay, so let's get cracking. I've opened RPG Maker, have I? Here we go, it's, it's launching. So we're gonna do a test play again. Remind ourselves where we were last time. So. There's one thing I do want to do though. Right, let's just get rid of this for now. Um, I want to slow down the battle system. I'm wondering if I can do that. Just because when we're doing this battle, the fruit's like one after the other. It's like so fast paced and you can't work out what's happening. So whether we have it that fast paced is the real thing, I don't know, but for testing purposes, I think it would be a good idea to slow things down. Um, just so we can take things in. <laughs> uh, right, so I'm gonna, actually gonna do a Google just to see what the setting is that I need to change to slow the battle down. And to make it be. There's one that lets you change the battle animations, but I think that would screw things up if I uh, change that. Because last time I did that, I made all the animations out of sync and stuff. So I'm not sure if I want to mess with that. I think maybe we might have to settle with how things are. and have to keep them at this speed. Maybe there is a way, but if there is, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I don't know. But we'll be okay. I think one reason it seems really fast paced is because there's no animations yet. 
Um, when we when we add animations, the animation will play before they do that skill, so it'll kind of make us be able to digest what's happening a bit easier. But because there's no animations, everything's just one one hit after the other at the moment. So let's just uh, do a test play. Yay! We'll probably die though, because I definitely think the battle's still a little bit OP for us at the moment, for sure. So we might, we'll have to definitely make some adjustments. And I do believe we're all equipped with our stuff. I, I did promise an item stream, but I think that'll happen once we've finished our tasks for January. Once we're back at Lakefall and do side quest stuff, I think um, perhaps doing the item stream at the same time as that or just before that would be cool. Because we'll also have to think what the drops are going to be from the boss as well. So I think once we've got all that stuff I'm done with, it will be the perfect time to have an item stream. Uh, right, so yeah, I think everybody's equipped. So here we go. Oh, didn't log load in. What's going on here? Right, so one thing we need to do is give them their icons for the turn because we don't know who's attacking when. So maybe we should get the icons done. I also want to change the icons we've got here because I don't like them. They're not pretty. So maybe do some icon stuff at some point as well. Um, but let's just do a battle test and remind ourselves what, what we were doing because I forgot. <laughs> it's been two weeks. Well, nearly three weeks now. Hey, that's mean stop. Yeah, we need to move the dialogue box across a bit. Oh, yeah, he uses it twice, doesn't he? And I was trying to figure out why he uses it twice. So, yeah, there's a couple of little little bugs to fix. I'm, I'm going to make a note of those, so... I can work on them off the on them off stream as well. So lemon um, counter attacks twice, and that's that's bad because while lemon's counter attacking twice, it makes the battle even more hard, and we lose more HP. So we need to get that fixed as fast as possible. That's bad, but. Is it three? It's three hits to kill Blueberry, I believe, at the moment. If we're gonna check, if we check, need to change that, then I suppose we will. But yeah, everything's happening so fast still. Okay, so yeah, Tomato was immune then because he had, I believe, we, we had one of the skills be a kind of shield, and that's what that little icon was above him. Then it makes him immune for a turn. Um, we're going to obviously change the icon into something better, but for now that kind of indicates to us that who is immune and who's got the shield in that turn. Um, why Jesus is more HP than Rose? Because he's a warrior. Rose is um, quite squishy. She's uh, She wears light armour. Um, Jesus wears heavy armour being a warrior. So... I'd say as a warrior, he's naturally going to have a large HP pool. He's probably going to have one of the largest HP pools out of the whole party. Um, and all the stat that gains all probably go towards HP for, for the for the warrior class. Um, for, for Rose as a vampire, um, maybe... It's hard to say, but it would probably be not hp but she's a self healer so although she does she's quite squishy at least she has that self heal ability that's kind of a a pro a pro a good thing about the vampire because it's jesus rose is squishy also indeed she's she's like i suppose you could see her more as a sort of ninja type cat she's not she's a vampire but if she's going to go in any kind of archetype it would be more the ninja thiefy squishy type of character uh, jesus is the fighter archetype i guess I, they, they kind of say that every one goes in one of three classes fighter archetype 
thief archetype and mage archetype, I believe it is. It's one of those three. So something like the hunter would go in the mage archetype. I don't know why, but it's probably because they're ranged like a mage. Um, that's what I read on TV tropes anyway. I thought it was pretty interesting because um, I was like, oh, well, which one would Rose the Vampire fit in? And I probably thought, yeah, probably the thief, if because she's got the squishiness of the thief and she has to probably rely on dodging and stuff. Um, are there scratches on the different sides of Rose's face? Ah, uh, ooh, well noticed. I'm actually wondering now what's happened there because I believe I had them right at one point. I might have... Rosie's face that's in there at the moment might be one of the old versions, that's why. But I'm pretty sure I have scratches a face set as well. So yeah, it's probably the wrong <laughs> it's probably the wrong face set. I'll have to look into that. But well noticed guys because that needs to be changed. So I'm gonna put that in my notes as well. Rose scratches on battle sprite. Different um, face or avatar should we call it face avatar so it doesn't really matter which one we go for as long as they're consistent i guess i'll have to check the walking sprite and see what that one looks like as well so we'll see good to see you battle sandwich how you doing i nearly missed you there how's it going not can't actually say chat but it's lovely to see you again have a nice day rose and same guys you're in a wonderful chat peeps so well, it's wonderful to see you start by battle sandwich and i'm happy to be back as well um still per excited i hope you had a good christmas and new year It wasn't wonderful to see us. Oh, we're always wonderful to see because we're awesome. Blueberry's dead now then, so who are we going to kill now? So yeah, we got two things to change. Lemon's counter-attack, hitting twice, and also Rose's scratches. But that's more of a visual thing, but we still need to do it. Um, also, oh yeah, icons. Um, fruits, turn, based, square icons. Because as, as you can probably see, we've got just blank icons at the moment. We've got Jesus and Rose in their icons, but we don't have the fruits. The reason why the fruits don't have an icon is because we're using like a kind of special animation for them called Dragon Bones. And it's like really weird, but for some reason with those types of assets, it doesn't automatically put them as an icon. So I have to do it manually. But it's worth it because it's really cool how they're like, how they have these really awesome animations. Um, okay, so we go do the square icon and also change um, command icons into prettier ones. So that's four things to do. Okay, so Plum is the immune one this time. If we can kill Lemon, I'll be happy. But we, it, oh, we, yeah, we're getting murdered. Right, I think we need to sort out Lemon's counter-attack because it's just too hard. Also, we, we're bad. I'm, I'm a bad player because I'm not using potions, you know? So that's bad of me to not do that. But we need to change things, of course, because we're weak and they're OP, so let's adjust things slightly. Let's just remind ourselves what what they are, what their stats are and stuff. Because I think we did reduce their HP, didn't we? I think we did do that at the end of last stream. So that will definitely help. Let's have a look the counter attack okay I think the reason it's happening is because we have it here Oh no, it's happening because 
Blueberry now only has 15 HP, but because he, he's he's we've have got all these states 80%, 60%, 40%, 20%. It's meaning, yeah, that's why he's hitting him twice. So, what we'll have to do is we'll delete one of those. Um, and we'll just alter things. So, 70. 40. Oh, no. Maybe 40. We'll have to test because. Not sure if they're completely accurate. He might still hit twice with those like that, but we'll see. We'll do another test. And once we've fixed that, it we'll be able to test things properly because it's a little bit flawed while we've we've got that bug. So let's let's fix that. Lemonade, it's a good name, isn't it, Lemonade? All the love, Pete's appreciate it. Nice to see you too, Kung. Gotta do the human things. Have fun. Take care, Bart Sandwich. It's always a pleasure to see you in chat, my friend. Um, True Baldy, how's it going? So good to see you as well. Ah, all the all some peeps are coming to hang out with me on my first stream back. How was your Christmas and New Year, True Baldy? And thank you for the four month streak. I appreciate you giving me a Twitch Prime True Baldy. Can we have some hype in chat for True Baldy, guys? Do you, do you like my little bat as well? For those of you that haven't seen it yet, he's a little bit invisible, I see. So we'll have to fix Cam because we can't have him be invisible. And for those of you that don't know, um, we do have a poll today. We're voting on the name of our cute little new mascot. So pick your favourite and put in a vote for him. And uh, tomorrow's stream, we're going to revisit that poll and see what's top. And whatever's top, his body's going to be called. It was relaxing. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. That's what, that's what that time of year is for. Chilling and relaxing. Wait, the battle sandwich does human things. Oh my goodness, I thought, I thought he was a sandwich this whole time as well. He's actually a human. We've been tricked. How are you guys doing? Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Only one thing. I miss Rex. But other than that, I'm doing great. There we go. I hope you guys don't miss Monk too much. Monk is fine. I'll look after him, I promise. Right, let's test this. Fingers crossed that the cat... The Counter attack twice has gone. Hope it's working. We'll soon find out, won't we? But yeah, everything's this battle's extremely fast paced at the moment because I think it's once we add the animations and sounds, it will kind of make us absorb it, what's happening a little bit easier. So I will be excited to add the animations and sounds. But it's just a little bit early to do that at the moment. We've got to make sure mechanics are working first. Hey, that's mean star. Oh, I think it's adorable how he goes, that how yeah, he protects him. Is he still okay? We might have to think about this. Blueberry's super weak now, you see. He can was he killed in two hits then? I think he was. Because we have a variance on Jesus and Rose's attacks, you know, sometimes he's killed in two hits, sometimes he's killed in three hits. Um, and because of that, it might make a bit of a flaw with when the Lemming Hound attacks. It would only be 100% accurate if we, if it was the same attack every single time. Um, I'm going to have to do another test because I'm not sure, or even sure what that was going on then. Uh, but let's let's just do the battle first and see. Because I do feel like we killed Blueberry a lot faster that time. No, he was immune. Typical. Typical that he had to be the immune one that time. I think Lemon's got the most HP out of the group, so maybe he's a bad one to kill next. 
yeah, shouldn't he? He's got his shield. Let's put, let's give a potion to the group because uh, we weak. Hopefully, Mog will make some cameos. He might on some special streams. Maybe he will. How's it fight to, to feel to fight alongside Jesus? Rose kicks Jesus's butt. She's even more stronger. But <laughs> I still, Jesus is stuck now. He's like forever going to be the main character of Raindrop Chronicles in my game, anyway. In your games, you can call your hero whatever you want. I've got a bit of a funny throat now. I might sound weird. <clears throat> Tomato hits both of you for a bunch of damage, it seems. I'm glad you're, look, you're keeping an eye on it, Glycine, because sometimes, especially because it's so fast-paced, it's hard to see everything that's happening. Um, so maybe we need to just make Tomato a touch weaker, if that's the case. If he's, if he's too OP. But we'll, we'll see. Let's see if we can just heal myself, so... Ooh. Lemon is an absolute tank, I'll tell you that. He's meant to be though. Maybe I feel like I sh Lemon shouldn't be the one I attack next. I think Tomato I should try killing second actually. Because he's, like we say, he's a strong one. I'm super excited to do the sounds and animations for this though because some of the skills are so creative and we can, Bolognese breath, we can have like a really cool uh, brownie red animation for the Bolognese. <laughs> like a sort of, yeah, it's a, it's a debuff, isn't it, the Bolognese? But, oh, Tomato's dead now. Oh my goodness. We've killed Tomato for the first time ever. Also, we should probably heal. I, def I think that reducing the HP of the party has helped a lot. Um, it was like impossible when they were too strong. So we got a revive. Oh no, I did the wrong hit. I wasn't meant to defend. Hi, play it forward. How are you doing today? Is that the Jesus? Nope, this is Jesus from Raindrop Chronicles. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, I just, it was the first custom name I could think of. I was like, what should I name my custom hero? I was like, yep, Jesus. Because I can't name it Rose, we've already got a Rose. What else could I do? I'm sure there's a lot of corn. Cool I should have called him Dougal, shouldn't I? Maybe I'll do a Dougal playthrough next time. Oh my goodness, Willow Scale! How are you doing? Thank you for that host. You've been too nice to me again bringing your lovely community over. How are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Let's say hi to Willow Scale and her friends and see what she was playing today. Let's see. Elder Scrolls Online, how's that going? I, I think I saw you playing Final Fantasy XIV. Was it yesterday? Might have been. I was like, oh my goodness, you've started playing Final Fantasy XIV. Have you, have you started Shadowbringers? And thank you for the follow, Blood. I appreciate that. I like the name because I've got Blood in my name too. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a wonderful stream and Happy New Year as well to all of you. I hope your your holes, your Christmas was good. Can't wait for her to get shot. Oh, hi, Key. How are you doing? Yeah, Key is obsessed with Final Fantasy fourteen. I think he's the, uh, the, out of everybody that I know on Twitch, he's the number one obsessed. For sure. <laughs> yes, I brought bought, bought Shadowbringers. Haven't started it yet. I've got to catch up on Stormblood. Oh, Stormblood was good as well. I really liked um, one of the story arcs in Stormblood. I actually cooked it, teared up a bit. <laughs> it's a good one. 
I hope you like it. I'm playing a Sekiro right now. Oh, is it harder than Dark Souls, Key? Sure, she'd be proud of how obsessed you are, Key. It's a good trait to have passions. I don't blame you at all. Oh, look at you. True Baldy. Nearly 300. GJ. I like those slimes. They're cute, aren't they? They were at, they are fruits now, but their original asset was a slime. So you are you are sort of correct. We've given them a lot of uh, characterization now. They've got stereotypes. We got the geeky one. That's the purple one. The others are dead though. We kind of, we're doing some battle testing at the moment, guys. We're kind of trying to make sure that the boss battle is as balanced as possible and not too hard. At the moment, the fruits are definitely a little bit OP. Um, so we're trying to, trying to make things a bit fairer. Um, and uh, once, once that's done, we can move on to the next part of the battle because things, things get super exciting in the next phase. But these guys are our first boss of the game. I'm doing great, playing lots of Pokemon, enjoying the Rose Battle Test. Yay! Oh, yeah, you're still playing Pokemon, Glycian. Who's your favourite Pokemon in this new one, Glycian? Out of them all. I'm sure that's a very hard question. Okay, so I'm going to heal again. I'm being good this time. I wasn't, like, giving my characters potions in the previous tests. Um, but now I am. And uh, yeah, all the icons are pretty gross at the moment, guys. I want to get some cuter, prettier pixel icons. These are basically the default ones, so um, I might actually look for some off-stream today. So when we move, do more battle testing tomorrow, maybe, we'll have some super pretty ones. Or we can always put them in, in stream today. I don't mind. I'm pretty happy though. This is the first time we've we've only got the fruits down to two. Maybe they're too weak now. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably Appleton. Oh, you've got you like the Apple Pokemon. Yeah, I like uh, the penguin ice cube best and also the little worm one, Snom. They're my faves. Yeah, I, I was like, maybe they're, they're too easy now, but I don't think they are because I had to heal myself about four times. So, are we getting there? I mean, I'm sure we can... I mean, when we add the animations, things will look a lot more pretty because the, the battle's very basic to look at at the moment um but mechanically i think we kind of getting there sort of there's just a few little little uh, things to smooth over probably maybe there's a few bugs it's hard to it's hard to tell because there's so many different skills going on in this battle with five different monsters and i'll admit i haven't been keeping an eye on all of them so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to thoroughly test it properly and make sure all the skills are doing exactly what they should be doing. Um, so, but at least we're getting somewhere now. At least the battle's beatable because last time we tested this, we was dying very fast. I'm jealous. I haven't bought it yet. Shiny hunting. Snum and Frost Moth are really high on the list. Oh, you like Snum? Yay! Good luck with the shiny hunting though, Glycian. And yeah, I don't have Pokemon either. I would like, I would love to play it, but I've, I'm really like cutting back on gaming. Um, not because I want to. I'd love to play more games, but because there's a few little things I'm focusing on this year, Raindrop Chronicles included, of course. And unfortunately, it's hard to fit in so much. So, but there's two games coming out this year that I'm going to play i'm very excited about one of them's the final fantasy 7 remake um which comes out in march march the 9th i think 
So I'm, I'm going to be buying that on release and I will be playing it a lot because I have to with that one. <laughs> it's one of my faves games of all time. And the other one's the Cyberpunk game that comes out in April. So those are the two games that I will be. But other than that, I'm kind of uh, probably not going to be buying any other games this year. At least not on release date anyway. 500 CB per character there? Yeah, that will be edited. I haven't at all decided what how many points they're going to get for CP yet, but we're going to definitely be very careful about that. Yeah, I'm going to re very much plan with every battle and, and make sure. Let's have a look at our skill tree. So this is the Y skill tree, and I th I'm not sure whether the 200 CP is what we're going to stick with at the moment for these skills, but we're kind of using it as a template at the moment. Um, and we will, I'm literally going to have a look at every single, count all the little enemy mobs we've got, um, plan how many, and probably like really, you know, big, plan it perfectly so basically when we get to the boss of the everbloom forest i only want the characters to have learnt perhaps two skills are here at the most so if you want to learn three or four you'd have to go back and grind so i'd have to, i'm gonna have to do some adding up and make sure that we we unlock those skills at the right point and yeah so that will probably be done when yeah at some point i don't know i'm not sure when we'll do the cp stuff yet but maybe when we do the item stream because it will all connect in with the item drops as well because that's that's all the battle rewards loot drops and the cp so um yeah probably make work do it then when the boss is finished basically get the we'll get the boss battle done and over first and we can prop, properly think of stuff like that after then it's nice to see how much progress you did on the game since the last time i've been here yeah okay it's super exciting i mean it's um it's a funny thing you know game development sometimes you things go a lot slower than you expect and that's kind of definitely happened but at the same time i would rather uh, I value quality over speed, so I would much rather spend longer on something just so it's better than just rush it just to get it out and released. Um, so yeah, if things take a bit longer, that's that's totally cool. But you know, when you think, when I think about things, it has come a, it has come quite far in the last few months. It's fun, and um, we spend a lot of time just rambling on, being nerdy thinking about characters and their personalities and um that's what i like to do <laughs> just just think of ideas together even if that makes the development a bit slower um like where are these guys let's get them up these guys for example we spent like a whole stream just giving them this one a scar turning that one into an emo and giving them a bit of personality and we could have just left them as they originally were but we want to make things we're we're very geeky and we want to make things really fun and amusing so yeah lots of lots of fun bonkers characters in this game that's for sure that's what it's going to be like okay so what are we going to do next let's look at our to-do list because our trello page isn't it's not letting me log in at the moment for some reason, so I'm making a to-do list on here for now. Um, oh, let's let's look at my list of things to do again. So we need to sort out some icons. We need to do the fruit turn-based square icons as well. Um, Glacian pointed out a visual glitch with Rose's scar, so that has to be fixed as well. But I've made a note of these so I can work on some of them off stream. I still love blueberry. Blueberry is my favourite, for sure. What, what, which, what, which one do you, the rest of you like? <laughs> the tomato makes me laugh, though. Such, such a, such a edgy teen. We couldn't have got more of an edgy teen than that. Um, 
Okay. So I definitely want to do some more battle testing, I think. But I'm going to also open Varro to shop. Because we need to get the icons in. Um, because it's also really hard to know if it's properly working when we can't see whose turn it is next out the fruits. Um, who's the one that's meant to have the mouse speed? It's the apple, isn't it? Which is really weird with the turn-based battle system agility. I'm not sure how exactly that's going to work. I just will have to see, won't we? We'll get the turn, the icons working now. Dice tomatoes leave black and grey. <laughs> Tomato, yay. Oh, tomatoes, Kung's fave. But I hope you, you had a good uh, Christmas and New Year key. I'm not sure whether I said, I said you asked. Well, hope everyone has. <laughs> okay, so icon set. Is this the one? No, it's not. Here we go. Let's open Photoshop then. So this is all the where all the icons in the game go. And a lot of them, like 90% of them here are our default ones at the moment. And they'll slowly get replaced with ones that are fitting for our game over time. Um, some will be my own and others will be ones I've found online. Like these ones here are what I made. Um, but most of them I'm probably going to just find other pixel ones. Just for time reasons. So we don't like literally spend about 20 streams doing icons. Because that's what will happen if I made all of them myself. Um, so we'll have a look and see what we can get. But we also need to add the... Um, what well, what we were doing let's let's just go back to RPG maker and have a check of some um, set enemies um, here we go so where it's got turn order icon is we have to put a number in there of the icon so That's that's very easy enough, but we've got to just think of a good place for our icon sheet to position it because we want to keep things tidy and organised. Um, that's quest journal icons and quest markers and stuff. This is um, the image of the actual quest. Uh, don't know why these are on this row. I think those are unused icons that I just moved lower for now. Hmm. Those are states, debuffs, weapons, armor, items. So yeah, we'll keep all those where they are because we'll be slowly replacing them. It's hard to predict how many quest icons we'll need, to be honest. But hmm, yeah, it's probably we definitely won't overwrite any of these up here though, because those ones will be important. I'm gonna just move these. stick them at the bottom because I don't want to delete them because I might need these assets so we'll just put them to the side for now hi Andy K can juice how are you doing guys so good to see you happy new year happy new year to you all <laughs> how, how was your holes guys did you have a good one turn-based agility makes me think of dodge chance yeah we'll have to see um how that works because i'm not sure if there is a, a stat for dodge so maybe we'll have a look and see evasion that's it evasion might be that one hmm i suppose the ones with higher agility will just get more turns 
I remember in Final Fantasy X, that has a very similar battle system to what we're doing. Um, Riku had a really high agility in my game. Um, and she always started battles. Her, her little... Her turn was always first because of a high agility. Um, and she also got more turns than the others as well, more often. So yeah, maybe it's who starts first as well. Um, okay, so. We need our fruits. Let's get the pictures of them. So. We make, we're making our, our fruit bosses icons, turn-based icons, guys, just in case you wouldn't drink. Um, so let's see how we're going to get this work, because we've got to fit them all in a tiny little square. So this is going to be interesting now. We, we want to make sure they're not distorted or anything. We'll see. We're not, we won't, we'll obviously have to crop them, because the shape of them makes... You know, it's a bit awkward to fit in a square, so we'll probably crop them. But we don't want them looking blurry like that, so. Is it bicubic sharper? That's what we want, I think. Oh, yeah, it's nasty. Very pixel, and this is why I don't like Photoshop. Even when you use the correct mode, it doesn't do it right. So I'm going to open graphic scale. I'm going to, I'm going to change the size in graphic scale. Haven't seen you in forever. No, I've just. This is my first stream back for two weeks. Um, I was on my howls. Um, so yeah, thanks for being here guys, and happy new year. Did Mog evolve or something? Yeah, new new mascot. Also, oops, I nearly forgot, how could I? Where, where's our poll? I'm going to give you guys the link. We're doing a poll, we're naming him. So vote for your favourite name in the poll, and whatever's top at the start of tomorrow's stream is what he's going to be called. Um... He's the best. It was a gift. A the only bat in the world, by the way, guys. Custom made. And it fits perfectly with our stream because we have bat emotes. How was your boyfriend visit? It was great, Juice. We had a lot of fun. Really good time. And this was from him as well. It feels like ever since I heard your voice, oh, Rose, oh, I've missed you guys too. I'm back. I'm back. Two years and four months, Sandy Cake. That is insane. That is like the whole time I've been on Twitch, basically. Andy Cake was one of the first peeps in my stream. Also, Paul, looking at the poll, it's very, things are very close at the moment. Things are very close. I wonder who's going to win. Somebody free me from this crazy British woman. Oh no. He's ditto. He's got a ditto face. <laughs> but yes, he's very I think he's very cute. He loves me. He's hugging me, say. He doesn't think I'm scary. <laughs> also, how is the tomato getting on, on Tinder? I'm sure you've had loads of people want to date you. Oh my goodness, Humble Book was that was purchased. Well, I appreciate you using my link. I super appreciate that. Thank you very much. And yes, guys, in my panels, if you if you ever like buying things from Humble Bundle, there's a link in my panels. And um, you can always use it if you'd like to. 2020 with a new friend. Yes, perfect. It was perfect start to the stream. A new a new a new pet. Mo Moogle will never be forgotten, though, ever. 
got like four likes, something like that. Don't know how to chat though. Oh, really? That's awesome. Well, I, I, to that tomato deserves all the attention. I think so. Interesting year. Well, I say that everybody's going to have a good year. They're all going to have a good one, guys. I'm hungry. Okay, so what were we doing? Graphic scale, that's it. Um, right. I've got some chocolate in my bag, so I might get some in a sack. Rainbow Chronicles. Image. Right. So I'm going to open all our assets in graphics scale. Let me just open that. Here we go. So usually I find Photoshop is an absolute butt face for resizing images and graphic scale makes them look much better. Um, sorry. Why has it got a weird black background all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't even understand. Didn't have that. Oh, okay, it's gone now. Um, what's half of 98? 49. Ah, my ma. 50. 50. Ah, my brain's gone. What's half of 98? I need to calculate for that seriously. That's crazy, because all you have to do, it's it's 49, it has to be. Well, it doesn't look very good, does it? Uh, and there was you saying graphic scale was good, but to be honest, it, it looks okay on 100% zoom. Better than how Photoshop was anyway. Let's, uh, okay, that looks horrendous. It's very, it's very hard actually because RPG Maker scales them okay, but when it does it automatically, so I wish that it could. I wonder if there's a way around it because doing them manually is very tricky. Um, oh my goodness, Living on Edge, how are you doing? Thank you for that 23 months. That's insane. That's, that's one month away from two whole years. Can we have some hype for Living on Edge, guys, for that fantastic super long sub? Appreciate you. And Dava, thank you for the host. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Happy New Year, guys. You squished him, I did. <laughs> Almost two years doesn't feel like it. I know, it's crazy. It doesn't feel like I've been on Twitch two years. But in a way, it does. It's weird. But how are you doing, guys? Diva and Edge, welcome back to the stream. If you would like to vote on your favourite name for this lovely new bat mascot of ours. And feel free to vote for your favourite. We will know his name at the start of tomorrow's stream. That's when we'll be closing the poll. So, super appreciate your votes. It's currently a draw, actually. So, let's get it up. Let's get the poll up. Oh, my goodness me. This poll is crazy. We thought we had a clear winner, but we haven't because someone's taken over. This is, this is interesting. We'll soon find out who's won, won't we? Thank you for the votes, guys. You can vote for more than one. Yes, you, there is the option to vote for more than one, for sure. So if you've got a, a couple of favourites or three or four favourites, you can vote for, for others too. Hope it wins. Oh, you didn't see that one, Juice? Well, we'll see, won't we? This is why it's always very important to vote your favourite just in case they don't win. How gutting would it be if there was it was one vote off? I'm glad you like it, Living on Edge. Whose idea was the Benevic, Benevic Cumberbatch now? 
I'm going to have to look back in chat to say. I'm pretty sure you can go back in and revote. Oh, can you? Well, just that, try that out, guys. Glacian thinks that's possible, so feel free to have a look, see if you can revote. Oh, it was Rex's. Rex is very good, creative at coming up with names. I'm very jealous. I want that ability. Okay, so... Right, so I was messing about with um, our icons, but I'm having some resizing issues. I'm going to do that off stream just because it's very webcam's misbehaving now. I'm going to do the icon stuff off stream just because it's very fussy. One of those things I could spend a, a bit of time just messing about with. So we've only got, well, we've still got a bit of stream time left. We can do some battle testing. We might as well carry on with that. So anything that's glitchy, buggy, or weird that you spot when we do the battle test feel free to point it out and um, I've got a notepad file open I'll add it to my list of notes and get them fixed off stream um, and we we will get it as perfect as possible I don't get a need to put chocolate because I'm very hungry um, I don't know if this will fill me up let me get another one. Yum, yum, yum. I would give you guys chocolates if I could, I promise. If I could put them through the screen, I would. Bye baby snails. Oh, I love snails. I think they're so precious. Because I don't, I'm not like crazy about slugs, but I love snails, so it, I think it's the shell, it's the shell that I like. Take good care of them, Gliacy, and make sure you look after them, I know you will though. But yeah, so, can you see these five blank squares? That is where the icons will go. So at the moment, it's kind of like, we don't know who's first, but it should be. Hang on, who is first? We'll soon find out, won't we? It's whoever attacks first. Okay, tomato is hitting first, then plum, then blueberry, then lemon, and then apple. But really, if apple's the one with the agility, like it says, shouldn't apple be attacking first? Okay, so let's check that lemons, yeah. So lemon isn't counter-attacking twice now, so it looks like we're getting there. But we'll have to do some more tests to make sure. But let you work that time. But yeah, if you spot anything weird, any of the skills not doing what they should, um, feel free to point it out because it's very, it's the kind of battle that's very hard to absorb everything at once because there's so many fruits and so many skills going on um, and one thing I did want to do I don't know if it's possible but I like the idea of lemon counter attacking the one that actually hit the blueberry I think that would make more sense because sometimes he attacks the other person so I'm gonna see if that's possible to do I'm actually gonna write that down in my notes as well Make lemon um, can attack um, counter attack the one who hit. I'm 
mean, it's not the end of the world if I can't do that, but I just think it'll look better and makes more sense. Apple should be first, think that makes more sense, yeah, but let's add that to our notes as well. Yeah, we'll have to think about turn order then, because I think, let's just, let's just cross this battle test off for now, because I think we need to think about turn order, just so we don't forget. Um, I think it must be based on agility, and I realise what I've not done. I haven't, we haven't set their agility, that's why. <laughs> so... Let's think about agility order. What do you guys think? So Apple first, right? So let's give Apple 25 agility. Maybe that's a bit much, but um, it, it kind of works because there's five of them. So if we have it as five, like one is 25, one is 20, one is 15, one has uh, uh, 10 and the other is five, just for now, just to see how it goes. But we might need to, that might be a bit much. We might need to... Um, have it in twos rather than fives, but we'll see. We'll test and see. Hi, Siegfried McBacon. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful, a wonderful start to your year. How's it going? Maybe make speed dictate turn order. Well, agility only it takes it uh, dictates turn order, right? Yeah, it must be. We won't know for sure until we test, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be agility. But let's have a look uh, at who we've got here. Apple definitely first, simply because we've got him as the agility guy. We've even got plus agility by his name, so he has to be the fastest. But who would suit being the second fastest and the third fastest, and who the slowest? Le would you say lemon slowest? him being the tank maybe he'd be quite slow and hi master emerald how's it going it's all good to see you thank you for that raid you lovely human being how was your christmas and new year how has it been treating you and how is the art going but did you do anything exciting on stream today feel free to tell us all about it and go check out master emerald as well because um she she does all her content's really cool she does she does um some game dev as well she's been working on her own game caught her doing some dialogue stuff before my break and it looked really cool i have to say um hmm okay so apple apple tomato Blueberry, plum, lemon. What do you think about that order? Lemon goes last for sure. Yeah, he's the slow tank. He's, he's, he's quite OP as well. So, well, sort of. So, but it would kind of be more fair if lemon was sly. Um, so, I'm thinking tomato second. Something kind of fits him as being quite fast as well. I'm just hoping it doesn't make him too OP. Plum, um, well, blueberry kind maybe third and plum, plum second from last. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but feel free to um, let me know if you think any of them should be swapped around if you feel, if you feel there should be. But for now, I'm just going to give them that. Um, but we'll see how that goes because they might need to be edited. Maybe having it be a difference of five between them is too large. Might need to make it a bit smaller. Smaller, we'll see. We'll do a test first and have a look. Hang on, let's just double check we've got them right. Because Okay, so Apple. Yeah, okay. Hi, Sigurty. Who's beautiful? You would never call me that Sig. Who's hacked Sigurty? Sig's been hacked. This isn't right. I would I would say Happy New Year, but you're a ha you're a hacker. You've hacked Sid. Did I just say Sid? I'm thinking I've got Final Fantasy on my mind because there's a Sid in every Final Fantasy. Painting Ridia from 14, started a marathon in art in prep for KupoCon in Feb. Got so much left to do, but enjoying it. Oh, that sounds fun. KupoCon, aw. Makes me remember Mog, but Mog isn't with us anymore. We have we have a new friend. 
and we have a poll guys um, if you haven't voted yet you can name him well you can put a vote in for his name out of your favorites on that list all the ones on that list uh, were suggested by the community at the start of today's stream so uh vote for your fan and we'll see what one wins tomorrow won't we Rydia from Farm 94 starting a marathon of... Oh yeah, Rydia from Farm... Is she the one with the green hair? I think I remember. I never played for myself, but I watched I watched um, Rex play it. I'm exposed. I'm secretly a mega amazing super hack. So how are you doing, Sig? So I hope you're having a good start to your year. Baby guppies, you never know what they'll look like when they've grown up. Oh, make sure you send us pickies. I want to see that, yeah. Green head summer now, all the green. It's obviously a ditto. Yeah, it's a bat and a ditto in one. It's perfect because ditto is my favourite poet. Come on. So, yay. And he's super unique. I'm going to say again, he's the only bat in the world that looks like this. So, he's super special. And nobody, anybody that says anything mean about him gets banned. Not that you guys ever would. <laughs> Ditto in bat form. Yay. Okay, let's do another test. Do another battle test. Let's make sure this agility is working. We did a we did a, a to-do list of everything that we're working on in the game. We'll we'll probably have to update it to our Trello once it will start working again. So you guys can properly have a look. But for now we like just wrote everything on a, a big page of what we're gonna be working on this month. Um, it's going to be like a mixture of battle stuff with this boss and uh, cutscenes and dialogue. Do do head. <laughs> oh no. Do do head means the most adorable in the world, right? <laughs> and dum dum means the cutest creature ever. That's what that means. You got me to start using Trello after seeing yours. Oh, that's awesome, Master Emerald. I'm I'm glad because I think it's a super it's a super good tool. Very very organised. Apparently, I can't ban myself. Oh well, well, you're forgiven. Bat Bat forgives you. He's just called Bat for now because he doesn't have a name. It's okay. <laughs> he wants a name. Let's see if it's working then. I'm worried. Oops. No. I've got to fight the blueberry first. Yay, Apple did it. Apple tomato. I think it worked. Oh no. Blueberry was the immune one in that turn. How unlucky. Apocalypse. I love that. Bolognese breath. Yeah, it worked. I wasn't quite sure if it would because um, we hadn't tested agility yet, but it did. Um, so I'm glad we got that turn order fixed because it was definitely flawed with how it was before, having them all of the same. So let's. I'm going to try and keep an eye on these skills as much as possible. Everything happens so fast, so sometimes it's uh, sometimes I miss some of the stuff that's going on. So lemon, lemon generally hits with well, it four that the first time and eight the second time. Apple hit with loads. Apple like hit with the same as tomato at one point. Is that because it's got a crit on him? Maybe. Tomato can go next. 8, 15, 18. So basically tomato and plum hit with the same. The only difference is one is melee and one is ranged. But yeah, just to remind you guys, the battle's very simple at the moment. We're gonna add sound effects. And some really cool animations that match with the skills 
once we've like done it all mechanically. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually already very excited about that. Oh, I just realised I hadn't given them potions. My fault. I was very distracted. Sometimes it hits you. Sometimes it still hits you twice. The lemon. I think you pass the 40% and the 10% health marker at the same time. Yeah. Probably does need adjusting. Because um, uh, it's a difficult one. We need to like really think about this. So let's have a. Let's just have a get rid of that just have a look so blueberry has 15 hp right 15 hp jesus has four attack but with his weapon he has plus six to that so he has 10 attack and rose well, Rose should, hang on. Rose is the same, I think, yeah. So they both have 10 attack. Let's just double check the vampire. Also has four. Yeah. So, 10 attack, and what is Blueberry's defense? Three. So, minus the three off the 10 attack, that's seven. So, on average, they're hitting the Blueberry with seven. And if his max HP is 15, that means he takes three hits to kill. And that, but he'll be left like one HP on that third attack. But hang on, I think there's a variance in the attack. So, yeah, there's like a 20% variance, which means it's not, they're not always going to hit with seven HP, you know. They'll sometimes hit with either with a bit more or a bit less than that, which means it's not always accurate. Sometimes Blueberry will get hit killed in two turns, and sometimes he'll get killed in three turns. And I think that's that might be what our problem is with this because it's it's random sometimes, you know. So it's just thinking how we're going to overcome that. I'm sure that we can. We gotta just rack our brains and we'll think of the right numbers to have so that it doesn't pass them maybe just get rid of the 10 percent. yeah maybe we should i guess with, with that one i was thinking of that third hit when he's only got one hp but yeah yeah i think it's probably flawed having it there do you think 70 and 40 are the right figures no we'll we'll, we'll test and say so let's do another test so what now? So we got lemon counter attacks twice. Make lemon counter attack the one who hit. Um, do the icons for the fruits. Change the command icons into pretty ones. Rose scratches at a different on her asset. So those are the bugs we've got so far. If there's any I need to add, then we'll we'll and feel free to say. But we'll do another test and we'll spot the bugs. Spot the bugs now before we end stream. Maybe change the variance amount to be lower. We could do maybe to 10%. Um, we'll say. I think some variance kind of makes things a bit exciting, I guess. So having it be there somewhat is probably better than having it at 0% because then everybody can predict exactly what they'll attack with every time um let's see how it goes he's a bad apple oh wow he's a bad apple hit with more than ketchup crush why was that tomato is meant to be stronger than apple physically Yeah, see, I would love it if Lemon hit Rose then because she was the one that attacked. I just think it looks, he looks really cool when he steps back because it looks like he's protecting Blueberry and then attacks rather than him going all up there and attacking the one that didn't attack. So I'm going to try and see if we can do that. I think that'd be pretty cool. 
But he worked then, didn't he? He didn't account a hit twice. He just hit Jesus once and Rose once because they attacked the blueberry. Let's see. But we we don't have a like a a thing for him counter attacking at this point, so we'll say. Oops, he was protected. Yeah, we we currently just had that boring square icon to indicate who's protected, but I think it'd look really cool if we had a sort of better visual. We'll say. Yeah, he doesn't he didn't counter attack them, but because he's already dead, Blueberry. I suppose we don't. He doesn't need to counter attack at that point anyway. So yeah, maybe that's fine how we've got it now. We'll see, won't we? Let's give Rose a potion though. And the other problem was that Apple was really strong with his. He's a bad apple compared to the the tomato attack. So we'll have we'll we'll see what's going on there and why it's stronger. Because I forgot. I actually forgot what he's a bad apple is. I'm not even sure what it does. Oops, accidentally defended. What a waste. Looks like my scorpion named Alexandro because he is a spicy booty. Ale Alejandro. Is that how I say it? I'm the worst at pronouncing things. Maybe you need more of a delay on the counter attack because it might be attacking you guys based on who's left over there. A delay. Okay, I'll look in. Um, what do you mean by delay? I just want to make sure I get I get what you mean, Glacian. Just so we know. The J is pronounced like a H. Oh, right, yeah. I always do that. I always pronounce the H J's. I, I, I'm a big, big silly. Rose is dead. Yeah, he's a bad apple. Hit with eight then. So that was weak at that time. So let's kill tomato. Ooh, ketchup crush and plunder and lightning was super strong. I think that's because they've got a buff probably. Because I know that apple gives the buff, doesn't he? Oof, oof. When Lemon Cow attacks, he hits before the attacker returns to their side of the field. Um, right, I'm going to copy and paste what you've said then, Glycine, and add it to my notepad file. Um, just so I can have a proper read of that after stream. There we go. Doesn't Apple have a high crit chance? That might be why it did a lot. Yeah, maybe. I guess it's because I always expect tomato to be the strong one when it comes to melee attacks, but it's true, apple can be a bit of a surprise one because of his crits. I get the I guess the question is should apple's crits be stronger than tomato though? Or the same? Do we want apple to be that OP? We basically dead. Are we gonna live? Ooh, we we escape that death. Hooray! Tomato, you're gonna be dead now. Yeah. Seems that when Apple's got a crit, he's, st he's slightly stronger than Tomato. Yeah, Apocalypse is the buff, I think. Oops. Yeah, dead. <laughs> My fault. I wasn't healing them enough. But we probably could make them a touch weaker, I'd say. I mean, there's a massive improvement. They are beatable now. They were, they were literally impossible before the holidays. <laughs> um, but they are beatable now. But it still requires a lot of concentration and a lot of healing. 
it's still very easy to die and I feel like maybe that's a bit cruel for a, the first boss that has two phases. Um, so maybe a, ha, just a touch weaker for him wouldn't hurt. Um, but it's thinking what, how to make them weaker exactly, I guess. Maybe the attacks of Apple, his crits maybe, not have them as strong. And then Tomato is consistently the strong one then, maybe. Hmm. Let's have a look. They all have 10 look. I'm not really even sure what the benefit of look is. Like what look does. I'll have to look into that one. Um, look affects things like the chance of status occurring. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think all, all of these are sorted now. It's just agility that we didn't really do. Um, they've all got zero MP because we don't have any skills that are MP based really. Uh, okay, so I'm also going to add to my notes. Thank you for that follow, Barut. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing wonderfully. Apple's attack is only slightly lower than tomatoes. Yeah, let's let's have a look. So, apple is twenty attack. Lemon is sixteen. Tomato is twenty four. Plum is plum is twenty four as well. But in magic, blueberry has one attack. Bless his little party hat. I was going to say bless his little cotton socks, but he hasn't got any feet or cotton socks, so. Bless his little party, <laughs> I guess, is what it is. Um, so, yeah, plum and tomato are the strongest with 24. Lemon is 16, apple is 20. So we could make apple have the same as lemon, give him 16. But with the crit, he'll probably, you know, be buffed a bit. But just a touch weaker then. So, yeah, what do you reckon? Because that crit will go a long way for Apple and it'll boost that 16 up to probably, you know, as long as it's maybe a bit weaker than Tomato. And I think that can help us because at the moment his attacks are a bit strong and it might be like killing us a bit much. I definitely feel we're healing a bit much, like using three or four potions each, Rose and Jesus, in that battle to kill them all. And that's, that is a, a lot. I think making them heal at least once definitely in a battle is important otherwise it's too easy um maybe even twice but three or four heals each seems like quite a challenging battle in my opinion for the first boss maybe drop apple to 16 yeah i did what glacian thought we think i like glacian but yes we we will have it as that so what i'm gonna do is uh, the notes of the little errors that we made in stream i'm going to fix those off stream today before tomorrow um and then tomorrow let's have a look at our to-do list again let's remind ourselves what what we've got to do this month um so yeah we will definitely tomorrow finish off balancing that battle make sure it's perfect which I think we can easily do tomorrow because we're we're very we're very nearly there. We're very nearly there, um, and then we can move on to phase two. Maybe maybe we can have a discussion on what phase two will exactly be, and um, and imp start implementing that. And then yeah, perhaps animations and sound once we've done phase two, that'll be the sensible thing to do. But yeah, I definitely need to finish implementing those as well. So we might do some of that as well, either on or off stream. And then we can do another test to make sure that they're all right when we've got all the skills. Um, well, two of the skills, maybe. It's, it, they'd only know all four skills um, if they've grinded. But if they've only gone through the Everbloom Forest and fought bought everything once they'll probably have learnt two of the skills in the skill tree that's what I'm going to plan anyway um, 
So we'll do a battle test when they've got two skills each and see how that goes. And it should be considerably less challenging if they've learnt skills, but it's still got to be beatable if they've got no skills, I'd say. But definitely harder, definitely a, a, hard, a harsher battle if you've learnt no skills. Um, and then, yeah, at some point this week I would like to do some um, of the dialogue and cutscene section as well. Just because it's fun and it'll break things up a bit, so yay, I'm excited. Right guys, so I think it's time to close up stream. Shall we pass the love to somebody else? I am going to... Also, I'm going to once again... Um, leave you guys with the poll just remembered we'll put that in chat before we before we go as well oh my goodness so at the moment we've got a winner but we've got a very close second um, and the poll has only been open for two hours we've got a whole a whole 22 hours left until the start of tomorrow's stream um, to see things could very much change we'll see why don't we so um I'm excited um, and I'm gonna have a peek at who's online guys open up my twitch and send send that us all over to someone else um, Whoa, maybe it's because, it's probably because it's New Year why it's so quiet, but I still feel we should go say hi to somebody. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay. So, I'm going to name two games. World of Warcraft or Planet Zoo. Whatever one you guys want will be the one we go to. And if not, I will say. I'll pick that. Okay. I've not played Planet Zoo yet, actually. I don't want to kill the animals, that's why. That's what I'd worry about. I don't want to see dead animals. Yeah, Planet Zoo or World of Warcraft, guys. We've got one vote for the zoo. So, um, if, if it's going to be that, we'll soon see, won't we? I'll give you ten more seconds, guys. Zoo, zoo, zoo for Rex. Also, I'm going to spam you with the poll before we we go again. Right, you can just say hi in the stream or you can do the rose road blood. It's totally up to you guys. So it seems Zoo has won. So we're going to go to the, the streamer who's playing Planet Zoo. That's on my friends list today. And this, this is their name. Some of you might know them for sure. Um, there we go. Azili. I think that's how it's pronounced. I hope so. So she plays a lot of these sort of games. She's doing a, a community zoo project. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, well, I'm all for the community stuff, as you know. Raindrop Chronicles is that. So uh, I think she's on a break. She's still online, but she's on a break. So she's AFK at the moment. But we'll still go in anyway and say hello. And um, Rose Ray Blood and I'll, I... I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm super excited to see who, which bat name wins the poll. And I appreciate you guys for hanging out and ha saying hi. My first stream back. Okay, guys. So I will see you tomorrow. Take care. All the best. You're all awesome.